vegetarian Cause he believed that it was wrong to kill The book says man should help preserve creation And there are millions who believe it still So maybe JC was a vegetarian Like the monks that taught him how to read and write Their scriptures said that every life was sacred And kindness was the way to heaven's light You have just heard Maybe JC Was a Vegetarian by singer-songwriter Paul Seymour on this week's edition of Vegetarian Elite. It just kind of strikes a a kind of a a resonant nerve with a lot of people. Just that thought that if Jesus was a vegetarian, well, why are we eating meat, you know? It's kind of, it's like, you know, some and if some of those amazing people throughout history, you know, we're also vegetarian for the same reasons. We first heard the song on the airwaves in New Zealand and subsequently noticed its climbing popularity on YouTube.com. Supreme Master Television contacted Mr Seymour, who graciously invited us to his home. Welcome to Christchurch, New Zealand. We're here with singer-songwriter Paul Seymour. Hi Paul, thanks for being with us here today. You've got an album out now called uh, To Be Announced. Um, Could you tell us a little bit about that album? Yes, um, it was about three years in the making. There's 15 songs on it and uh, and a couple of uh, comical sort of uh, spoken tracks as well. And the songs are are pretty diverse in their styles, from quite rocky to, to soft ballads. And one song that's available on YouTube that has drawn particular uh, attention um, is called Maybe JC Was a Vegetarian. Um, it's a positive and inspiring message um, about the prevalence of, of vegetarianism throughout history from uh, great figures, including Jesus Christ himself. Uh, what, what was it that inspired you to write this song? Well, um, having been an ethical vegetarian myself for, for 30-odd years, um, uh, well, quite a few years ago, I found out through a bit of research that uh, that Jesus was most likely a vegetarian because uh, he was um, taught by the Essenes who were who were vegetarian, and of course the the, the true Buddhists are vegetarian, um, and so on. And and it just uh, it just followed that some of the the, the most uh, prevalent spiritual teachers throughout history um, have been vegetarian because of compassion and and looking after animals so jesus maybe was a vegetarian like a whole lot of other holy men the animals were here before the people so maybe they were here for us we're here for them And um, the song also has some quite uplifting and inspiring messages. Um, some of the lyrics included are, maybe they're not here for us, we're here for them. Could you tell us a little bit what, what your meaning is behind this? Well, um, so often you hear people say, uh, well, what, what are the animals put here for if it isn't for us to eat? Uh, and really, humans have only been on the earth for a microsecond compared to um, the rest of life. And so, you know, I mean, they, it's very unlikely they were put here for us. The point is, humans came along and, and we have the ability to have a positive effect on our Earth. And instead of exploiting it, we're just tenants here. And um, so the animals were, weren't put here for us. I think we were put here to look after them. Ironically, we are the ones that are, that, are, that are causing trouble and pollution and, and global warming. 
and uh, yet we are the ones that, that do have the power to, uh, to save all, all life on the planet as well. You know, you've got to look after your environment and then it'll look after you. You always hear, uh, oh, the economy would crumble if, if the industries fail. But, I mean, let's face it, if the environment fails, the, the economy's out the window anyway. So really, it, it's a matter of it's it's a matter of environmental survival and our own spiritual survival. We can't go on um, killing and exploiting animals uh, just because the economy dictates it. We we just can't. The world won't survive, yeah. and all the animals won't survive, and all life won't survive. Not just human life. Our bold horizons are within me and you Create a vision, wish on a star Pray to your God but make it soon It's now or never The most important thing people can do is, is to become vegetarian. Every time someone gives up meat, it does more for the environment than if they gave up driving a car. So, yeah. Everyone be vegetarian. There are lo lovely alternatives out there, is, is you know meat substitutes, and um, and there are things you can make yourself that are that are delicious. So uh, rather than changing to a, to a totally different way of eating, uh, being a vegetarian, you can still have things like uh, that that would normally incorporate beef and chicken and fish, but using the um, the substitutes that are available. What what inspired you to become a vegetarian all those years ago? I'd always loved animals, and I'd always had a little bit of trouble dealing with uh, with the fact that animals had to die for me to eat. You know, I'm fond of food in general, but I realised that it was a sacrifice I had to make. Seventy six, I think I I became a vegetarian. Uh, I was at a barbecue, believe it or not, and uh, and I looked at this piece of bleeding meat on my plate and I thought that came from an animal that that was happily loping around a field not so long ago and I thought I, I can't eat this and I've never eaten it since. And how has um, being a vegetarian affected your life and your music as well? It's probably been one of the most important um, influences in my life in general, not just my music. It's always been there in my mind that when I was successful, um, I would use whatever resources I had to help change the world for the better. Really, the most important thing we can do is, is get people to become vegetarian um, for the, the, the sake of the earth. So it, it, it's been an underlying um, influence in everything I've done, in every every song I've written, every gig I've performed. When we return after this brief message, Paul Seymour will share with us his dreams of saving the world, one song at a time. You're watching Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television. Hi, I'm Paul Seymour. Be veg, go green, save the planet. Welcome back to Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television. Over the last 40 years, singer-songwriter Paul Seymour has written hundreds of songs and entertained many and thousands of music performances. From as long as he remembers, Mr. Seymour has been in love with music. I think I wrote my first song in the womb, but I just can't remember the words. But uh, um, all my life, I've been, I've been, I, uh, you know, tinkering on the keyboards when I was I was young and writing little ditties and and got my first guitar when I was 11. 
and uh, started singing and writing songs then. And currently, uh, in what ways are you involved uh, with music other than just writing? And uh, I teach. I teach music. I've, I've always taught, oh, well, ever since the, the 70s anyway. <laughs> um, taught a couple of people who've become famous since. I love teaching uh, almost as much as I love performing and writing because you really see a, a result. You see people go from not knowing a thing about music to suddenly being able to play. Very gratifying. Very gratifying feeling. As a music teacher, Mr Paul Seymour has taught over 1,500 people to play the guitar and has also written a music theory book. As an artist, among some of his most popular records is Some Better Day, a performance which enjoyed much airtime on national ABC television. On his website, the artist proclaimed that he made the decision to become a musical megastar and save the world. Music has always been a very powerful vehicle for promoting messages. I think music has a, has a, is a form of magic, if, if you like. It strikes a nerve with everyone that even even forget lyrics. For, you know, just melodies can can create emotions. That's something I know as a as a musician and a music teacher that just the combination of notes and chords together can can create emotion. And then you combine with that positive lyrics, um, well then it can uh, have a, a very powerful effect on people, changing their way of thinking and, um, and you know, re-evaluating their lives. They're not here for us, we're here for them. You have uh, your two dogs here, yep. Ruskell and George. Yep. They've moved uh, with you from Australia? We wouldn't have left them behind, there's no way. And, uh, and it was probably the worst day of our lives when we had to put them into a, into a cage to, to, to load on the plane with all the cargo. Yeah. I mean, if we'd had our way, they would have sat on the seat next to us. But now they've settled in very well. They're, they're little Kiwi dogs now, so they're, they're quite happy. I understand they were rescued when they were young. Is that correct? Yes, yes. They were. Uh, uh, it's very sad, but they were found in a in a rubbish bin, and when they were only like a few weeks old, then they were at the pound for a couple of weeks, and and, and they were on death row, and then a, a wonderful organisation called Monica's Rescues came along, and the uh, doggy rescue place in Australia which unfortunately looks like it might be closing down through lack of funding. But um, they do an amazing job. They've placed about 8,000 dogs into good homes. And, yeah, so that's where they came from. seem to be quite spiritual yourself I think it's important to surround yourself with beautiful things whatever represents beauty and positivity to, to people personally it's just having things around you that are pleasing and that creates a positive energy and if you have a positive energy you do positive things well thanks very much for joining us today Paul it's been lovely talking with you and I uh, wish you all the best for your future and music Thank you very much for this opportunity. It's been very enjoyable. We enjoyed your company, amiable audience, on Vegetarian Elite. And now, please stay tuned for Between Master and Disciples, here on Supreme Master Television. May songs of peace and compassion be the anthem of our days.
the album is available through iTunes. Uh, just go to the iTunes website and um, put in Paul Seymour or Paul Seymour to be announced and, and it should come up on my download page. If you're um, not sure though, go to the website if you want to have a listen to the samples. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash V-E.